had a philodendron which was root rot affected. I made a video of treating root rot affected plants two months back in which I said that this plant was beyond repair and the only way to get this plant back is by taking cuttings of the only healthy leaves left on this plant. The cuttings are doing fine. I'd shared this with you on Instagram but apart from taking cuttings I did something else and now the plant is back. I swear I did not buy a new plant. In this video I'll share the secret and also use this method to rescue my sad looking pothos. So let me show you the secret that I used to rescue philodendron. If you notice the philodendron I had had no leaves left on the plant but the stem was still healthy and green. So what I did was I twisted the stems and place them on soil. Moisten the soil and place them inside a Ziploc cover. And after 3 to 4 weeks or so, I got my plant back. This method is called Ziploc bag method. Easy right? So let us do the same for my sad looking potos. This potos got attacked by thrips and lost a good amount of leaves during this winter. As you can see here are some healthy nodes but no leaves on it, just like how my philodendron was. That means that I can't do the classic propagation method of dipping the cuttings in water. Instead, I'll experiment with the Ziploc pack method. For this method, I'll take a container, fill it up with the potting soil and moisten the soil a bit. So if you see this particular stem, so there are some, I don't know, seven, eight nodes which has no leaves on them and there are only leaves at the end. So I lift off each stem one at a time. This is a best example of a rotted root. You see you can clip off the outer layer. So I'll remove the rot from the roots if there are any. So how do you remove it? You can watch my video on root rot if you have not seen it. I'll bury the existing root of the plant in the new pot. This also works if there is no existing roots because my philodendron was one such case. I'm twisting the stems without the leaves on the soil. Pin it down with some U pins such a way that the nodes come in contact with the soil. Even if you bury the nodes a little bit, it's okay. So keep twisting and securing. We can also place the nodes separately instead of twisting them. Cut the nodes separately and place them on the soil. In this case you don't need a U-pin because it is easy to place them on the soil. I have two pots of propagated potos. Now moisten the soil. Cover this pot in a Ziploc cover. Place it inside and seal it. Actually any cover will do for that matter. So I have the two pots in the cover now. The purpose of the cover is to increase the humidity inside so that it can act like a terrarium or a greenhouse. This will help the nodes to grow roots faster. You could also put the soil directly in the Ziploc cover and place the cuttings on them. This should also work but I personally prefer this method with the pot. This method can be used for any healthy nodes with or without the leaves as we did now. Place them in a bright spot. I kept the philodendron which I recovered under the grow light because it was during winter but I'm going to keep these potos bags on the windowsill as we hopefully will have some sunny days from now on. I'll open the cover once in two days so that no molds are developed on the soil and also to check if the roots are formed. This method worked for my almost dead philodendron. I was able to revive them in like three weeks and it has so many leaves and it is like I never lost this plant. If you look closely, you can see that almost all the nodes have rooted and have leaves on them. Therefore, I have confidence that I can revive my potos in the same manner. 
and for this method you need to water less once in two weeks or so only if the soil feels dry i'm planning to use this method more often for my plants from now on as it is tried and tested especially for the nodes with no leaves on them plants love humidity and they grow best in humid environment so this method should work for all kinds of plant propagation if you're propagating them on soil i hope this method will help you rescue your plants and also propagate them faster before the summer sets in as usual all my updates will be on my instagram link will be there in the description box below and let me know if you try out this method and how you find it thank you so much for watching bye and take care